Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's case uh, is again out of Kirinyaga. It's a domestic violence uh, case. If you're watching and you're from Kirinyaga, can you please comment down below what is going on? This is a bit much. It's a bit much from, you know, a small town as Kirinyaga. Simon Maina, a 46-year-old man married with three children, is believed to have brutally murdered his lover, Jacqueline Waruguru. Um, so Simon was having an extramarital affair with Jacqueline Waruguru, still no reason to kill her. But Simon uh, decided that she was going to end Waruguru's life. So Waruguru is a 30-year-old girl. Um, as I mentioned, he was having an affair with this man. And this man decided to go to her place and strangled her to death. Now, this was on Tuesday night, May 24th being reported that the two were having an extramarital affair which culminated with the brutal murder of the woman also being reported that after killing the deceased uh, one simon then went and gathered all the locals including his wife and jacqueline's sister to inform them of what he has done it's the audacity for me the audacity to kill someone else first of all the audacity to have an extramarital affair Second of all, to drag an innocent woman into it. The woman was probably just home minding her own business. You're calling her to let her know that you've killed somebody else who you're sleeping with. It's the audacity for me. Some of these cases get into my nerves, guys. I didn't say Maina is a local trader and is uh, a father of three. And he has uh, been having an affair with the deceased um, woman. We do not know how long this affair has been going on. We do not know what the motive is. Moya is sub-county commander Daniel Kitavi said the suspect had been put into police custody over the suspected murder of Jacqueline, who was only 30 years old. Now, one of the residents said, one thing I would like to tell people, if you and your partner have broken up, let them go in peace. It is very wrong to kill anyone. So based on that statement, I'm thinking the motive could have been that the girl decided she's had enough and she wanted to leave the relationship. And the guy just decided you cannot leave me uh, and then decided to, to kill her, basically. That's what I'm thinking from where I'm sitting. But obviously, the police is able to tell us more of what transpired, what led to this murder. Um, the police have him in custody study at the moment uh, waiting to be officially charged with murder so again you're now up to date with this case i really don't have a lot of information on this case unfortunately some cases are just so brief um, and as much as i would want to bring a lot of information nothing is available on the internet I that's it from today's video thank you so much for coming back to the channel thank you for watching this video guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys please make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out make sure to hit that notification bell as well so you know every time i post make sure you're engaging with me in the comments section i really want to know what's going on in kirinyaga so if you're from kirinyaga please leave me a comment in the comment box as you go out thank you once again i'll catch you on the next one bye